this is my personal question, man, because I always had that question. Like I said, how do we know that the divine was God? Because all, all these white people done written this book, this book over and over and over again. All the lies they didn't did spit to us, you know what I mean? And it, it just, so, you know, teach them. Gotcha. So you said, how do we know that this Bible is a true book, basically, right? Divine from the Almighty God. Divine from the Almighty God. Because another word for holy is divine. It's separate, right? No other, Isaiah 34, 16. No other book, no other book on this planet can, ma can mate with this book. And we're going to see. We're going to get that. We're going to see what that's talking about. Read Isaiah 34, 16. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Yeah. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Out of the book of the Mormon. Of the Lord. No, the Quran. Of the Lord. Read. And read. And read. We're supposed to read this because this is the book of the Lord. Read on. No one of these shall fail. No one of these. Go ahead. Hey, let me ask you a question, right? What book on earth, right, tells what happened to us in our history? Well, shoot, I, 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 mean, I feel like there's a lot of them, but I feel like they, they hid a lot of stuff. They destroyed a lot of stuff from us, you know what I mean? And I believe that right there, that book right there, no offense, no, y'all, because y'all doing a good time. Uh -huh. I believe that book right there was, was, uh, was put in, in order for us to uh, right. have, uh, be, be you know, abide by the white man. You know? Right, so you, like many of our people, you believe it's the white man book, right? Be honest, all right. Let's find out. First, let's start at the beginning of the Bible, Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. Bring it out. Because many of our people come under the illusion that this is the white man's book. Right. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. This is the most pro-black book on the earth right now, bro. Yes, this is our history and what the white man has done his job because he has made you believe that this is his book. Right. Because you know what they do? They swear into office under this book. You see what I'm saying? The churches filled up with lies guess what christmas is it in the bible for us to celebrate christmas do our people do it though they do it. that's not in the bible you see what i'm saying thanksgiving birthdays easter all Bro. these things that black people are caught up in none of, none of that stuff is in the bible so has the white man really taught us the bible they, they put, they, they have been questioning it and, and put it in their words. And exactly, they words. exactly, bro. What they have done is they came under the face of the Bible. Because remember, in slavery, during these times, look, you see that poster? During those times right there when we were shackled and chained, could we read or write? Bring it out. No, we couldn't read. What book was around that we couldn't read or write? The Bible. Right. You saw uh, Nat Turner, the Nat Turner movie? Right? What was it called again? Birth of, Birth of a Nation, right? You saw that movie? Yeah, yeah. And what did they have Nat Turner do? I mean, I know he went around your man, but I know when he read that Bible. They you know? said, listen, Nat can read. Yeah. We're gonna teach him the Bible. Uh -huh. And he was teaching the other slaves what the what the slave master had told him to teach them. Right. And then what happened was he rebelled against what they was teaching because he read the Bible for himself. Right. And he understood. So read that. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground now I got a simple question what color if we was to dig up that dirt from the ground what color would it be Bring it out. be honest yeah the dirt out here would be brown it's brown but, but it's, other, it's other dirt in other countries brother the dust that. of the ground comes in different shades of brown right it's different shades of brown bro the Lord for a man from the dust of the ground. Now let's get Revelations 1. Let's find out. The, if you go, Google on your phone right now. You recording? You recording? Yeah, yeah. You good. Go ahead. You got a phone on you? Okay. If you was to Google Jesus Christ right now, what would pop up? Uh, white man. A white man, right? A white man would pop up. Let's see if the Bible says he was a white man. Bring it out. Because all answers to our questions are found in the Bible. That's we just right. we just gotta we can read now, Master. We just gotta read the Bible. That's right. all you gotta do. Read that. Revelation chapter one, verse one. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave unto him to show unto his servants to do what? To show unto his servants to do what? To show unto his servants. So the Lord is about to give us a visual. Because remember, in the latter days, we've never seen Jesus for ourselves. We didn't walk with Christ. But guess what? There were men who did. Right. Who gave an account. Read. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Verse 2. Verse 2. Who bear record of the word of God. A record is what? What is a record? It's like something that you keep a hold 
hold up and census, etc. Something that you something that you got right there to, to verify what you what, what Exactly. What you it's something to verify that what you saying is the truth. Right. So now we gotta verify if what we've been given by this is the truth or if it's been a lie. And that in turn is gonna show you if we've really been following the Bible or if we've really been following man. Right. Read verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It says Christ had white and he had woolly hair. Does this picture, does this man have white woolly hair? No. So they tell you that's strike one against that damn devil. Right. That's right. But this is what they gave us. Why they didn't give us the description that's in the Bible? Bring it out. It says his hair was woolly. Who on the planet Earth has woolly textured hair? Bring it out. Negroes, black folks. We got woolly textured hair, right? but many of our people, we hate our hair. Why? Because this damn devil has told us that our hair isn't the good hair, quote unquote. Bring it out. Right. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. It says his eyes was as a flame of fire, because Christ drank wine. He got his sip on. He wasn't a drunkard, but guess what? Christ drank wine. Right. And when you drink wine, the whites of your eyes turn red. Does this man have red red eyes? No. Right. And his feet like got to fine brass, uh -huh. as if they burned in a furnace. Now it says he looked down at his feet. His feet was like unto fine brass. Brass is what color? Brown. Brown. But now it says that it's as if it was burned in a furnace. So it says he was so black that he looked like he was burnt in a furnace. Right. But they told us colors not in the Bible. Get What is it? Daniel 10 and 5 that I want? Yes, they tell us color is not in the Bible yet all throughout the Bible we reading about how Lord has the description of his people. Right. But see, they have put us in the trick bag to where now we believe, you know what? I ain't, I, I ain't trying to get down with that Bible, man. That's the white boy stuff. Because why? Because growing up, we was taught that God is white. The angels is white. Think all the movies you have seen, Son of God, Passion of the Christ. Many of our people was in the movie theaters crying right. to Passion of the Christ because this white man was getting slaughtered. I mean, I'll be honest with you. When I read the Bible on my own, you know, I came up with a whole bunch of different conclusions than the church would ever teach me. You know what I'm saying? Right. And uh, two two conclusions that I came up with that I that I found contradicting itself is the Jesus Christ character because uh -huh. when, I, when I was doing uh, when I was reading about God it seemed like these two people are totally different you know what I'm saying they are right? yeah. and I was reading Isaiah it says uh, uh, what he says um, besides me there is no Savior you know what I'm saying and uh, then when you go on to Jesus I'm wondering where he come from you know what I'm saying it's just it's, 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 it's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff read what you got Daniel chapter 10 uh, Daniel chapter 10 verse 5 it out. then I lifted up my eyes and looked and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, uh -huh. whose loins was girded with the fine gold of youth fast. Uh -huh. His body also was like the barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning, uh -huh. and his eyes as lamps of fire, uh -huh. and his arms and his feet is what? His arms and his feet. His arms and his feet read. In color to polish brass. Read that part again. In color. Read. Jump up a little bit. And his eyes as lamps of fire, uh -huh. and his arms and his feet like unto color to polish brass. It says like in color to polish brass, given the same description that what we just gave in Revelation. Right. Now, when you mention about the contradictions of the Bible of God and Jesus Christ, remember, Christ said, I can do nothing of my own, but I do the will of my Father who sent me. Right. All throughout the Bible that's given description that, guess what, Christ and God are two different things. Right. Many of the time, when we read in the Bible, we, we were dealing with Christ. We wasn't dealing with the Most High God like that. You see what I'm saying? We was dealing with Christ. Now, I want to show you something. Get Obadiah and get the last verse. Because there are many saviors. You see, we saviors. You see what I'm saying? Right. But guess what? There's one God and there's only one God. There is only one God, but guess what? The Lord had to send his son, why? Because we needed something other than sacrifice. There's a lot of history within the Bible that we don't know because the Christian church hasn't taught us. But read what you got. Obadiah, verse 21. And saviors, and what? And saviors shall come up 
on Mount Zion uh -huh. to judge the Mount of Esau. To do what? To judge the Mount of Esau. And that was saviors with an S. You see what I'm saying? Multiple. Showing you that there's more than one savior. Nehemiah 9, 27. Get that. Nehemiah 9 and 27. Showing you that it's multiple. You see what I'm saying? So, yes, God and Christ are two different. They're right. not the same. But what the church teaches is that they are one and the same. Right. That's where the confusion comes because you, you hear them say that and they teach that. But then you read the Bible and you're like, hold on. That's making distinction between them. Right. Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 27. Bring it up. Therefore thou deliverest them into the hands of their enemies uh -huh. who vexed them. And in the time of their trouble. So this is a time of trouble. Have we been delivered to the hand of our enemies or our friends? Enemies all over, right? Yeah. Enemies. And we happen to think that these people have our interests at heart, have our best interests, but they don't. These are our enemies, right? Right. When they cried unto thee, uh -huh. thou heardest them from heaven. And according to thy manifold, uh, manifold m m uh, mercies, thou gavest them saviors. Thou did what? Gavest them saviors. Now, the Lord just said again that, look, I gave you saviors. Because, brother, the prophets of God, guess what? We are saviors. We come out here to save our people from the damn oppression of the white man and all the other nations, brother. Right. We have been carried captive to these lands, so our people, we the ones that need saving. Right. Now, one more scripture. Uh, Luke 1. Luke 1 and verse 68. Because Jesus Christ is our savior. He's our savior from what? From sin. And from the hand of oppression, that's what he's our savior from. Right. But there is one most high God. And even Christ said that himself. If Christ said that himself, we got to go by what he, what he said. I do believe that that's, that's the only reason why I can't exclude him because he even said that he ain't, you know, he ain't God. Exactly. Like but but the just, Christian church will teach you different. But I just, read that. I'm about to give it right back to you. Let me read this last scripture for you, bro. Read that. 1 verse 68. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Bring it out. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Of who? Of Israel. Now, do you know who the children of Israel are? Well, they say that, you know, the blacks people, you know, the, the ones that got scattered across, you know, according to the Bible, it says, uh, you know, they we bought a ship. So I done read things like that, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, yeah. It's not, it's not they say, it's the truth. That's right. Because a lot of time we say, they say, he say, <laughs> the man, it, it leaves it too broad. It's like, who? What that's says that's it? That's According to the Bible, because we got to make that thing plain because they they say that they use the Bible, but they don't. We read in the Bible. When you go to church, you don't hear this many scriptures come out. Pastor give one, maybe two scriptures and the rest is a damn hallelujah fest. Right. Read that. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. The Bible says that God visited and redeemed his people. Christ came to redeem his people, not all people, not all nations, his people. And it just it just noted who his people is when it said Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Read that. And have raised up a horn of salvation. A horn of what? A horn of salvation for us and the house of his servant David. So salvation is for the children of Israel. The right. so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. That's right. They're the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? Read. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet, Read. which have been since the world began, uh -huh. that we uh -huh. shall be saved from our enemies. The Bible says that Christ came to save us from our enemies. Right. So how is he saving everybody? Right. If somebody got to be saved from their damn enemies, how is everybody going? Right. Read. And from all the hand of them that hate us. The Bible says that there's people that hate you. There's people that hate the children of God. Do people hate the Jews? Hell no. Everybody look, you can't even say nothing about the Jews. You getting look at uh Nick Cannon, Deshaun Jackson, right? All these people who just spoke something, any little thing. You get it's cancel culture all over for you. Come on up, officer. Hey, all praise. The officer was in the spirit. So he said, well, so everything that he just brought out, 
validating that the Bible is a true book. Right, that is right. not no white man book. You understand that, bro? Let's get some more saviors in the body, in the, in the Bible. Job 30 and 30. Right. So let's see what they look like. Because he mentioned that Christ is a black man according to the Bible. Right. The Most High God is a black man according to the Bible. Right. And let's see what his children look like as well. Read yeah. that thing. Job chapter 30, verse 30. Come on. Oh. My skin is black upon me. Right. This is our forefather Job. Uh, uh, Israelite, he said his skin is what? Black upon me. Have you heard that before, bro? Exactly. That's how we know this ain't no white man's book. He said, my skin is black upon me. Read. And my bones are burned with heat. Right. So give me a song of Solomon 1 and 5. Let's get some more. You know, you heard about King Solomon? Yeah, yeah. The wisest king ever to step foot on this planet. What color is he, bro? He's saying you're black enough. That that ain't, it ain't, it ain't they said. said. Well, he said it. You know, according to the Bible, he said, you know, yes, he, was, sir. he was talking about himself, you know, yeah. Oh, praise. Let's read it again. Right. Read that thing. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Because what this is going to do, when you keep hearing the Bible, when you read Romans 10 and 17, it's going to increase your faith. Right. Increase your faith in the Bible. So right. let's get it. Let's get that repetition. Song of Solomon 1 and 5. I am black, uh -huh. but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, uh -huh. as the tents of Kedar. As the curtains of Solomon. Right. So he said he's a black man. But read on. Look not upon me because I am black. Uh -huh. Because the sun hath looked upon me. So when black people is in the sun, what happens to our skin, bro? We, we don't, I mean, we just, we stay black. You know what we, I mean? That's just it. We don't get burnt in there like that. Right. We get black, we get blacker, right? Blacker, yeah, yeah. Because what, 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 what normally do we say? Oh, okay, wait till the winter time so I can light up. You know what I'm saying? Then the summertime come, all oh, right, shit, we getting black as hell, right? That's what King Solomon would have said. So that, his spirit is better than with our spirit. That's how we know we're the same people. Right. We're the same bloodline. He was an Israelite, and so are you, my brother. That's right. So read that again. With uh, Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Uh -huh. I am black, but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, uh -huh. as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Look not upon me, because I am black. Uh -huh. Because the sun hath looked upon me. So let's get some more. How do we know that this Bible also is a true book? Deuteronomy chapter 28. Let's get, let's get right to the nitty gritty. Because no other book can tell us what happened in our history. Because we all know that this happened to us, right? This happened to our forefathers, our foremothers. It didn't happen to other, no other nation. And the only book on this planet that has a record of that history is right here in the Holy Bible. That's right. The Holy Scriptures. That's right. That's how we know this is a true book, brother. You understand that thing? And my sister right here, my brother, we're going over how we know that the Bible is a black man's book. That's right. This is your history book and no other uh, history. No other uh, man can uh, hold a candle to you, my brother. This is your history book. Let's get some history in that thing. Read on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it up. But it shall come to pass. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and all his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So this is Moses speaking to the children of Israel, the Israelites, after he led them out of slavery and uh, in Egypt. So he's telling them, hey, I'm going to give y'all laws and commandments to live by. And if y'all don't keep these commandments, curses are going to happen to you and overtake you. And let's see who those, who those curses happen to as well. Verse 46. Verse 46. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon thee. And they, talking about those curses. Hey, my brother, my sister, y'all listen to this? We're talking about the curses, right? To our people. And they shall be upon thee. Read. For a sign uh -huh. and for a wonder. So just like we have signs out here to show us where we at or where, where we going, the Bible, the Bible said these curses are going to identify who his chosen people are in these last days. That's right. Read that again. And they shall be upon thee uh -huh. for a sign uh -huh. and for a wonder. Uh -huh. And upon thy seed forever. And upon thy seed forever. Meaning your children is going to be going through these curses. Now would it be safe to say that we going through these curses today? We get shot down in the streets, in the bottom of society. Right. We went into slavery on slave ships. Right. Our names were taken from us. So that means that's a that's the truth. That's, that happened to us. So what? We, we the Bible do. is a true book. Right. 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 Yeah, we and still what? slaves today in the, in the mind. We still it, slaves through the mental through the mental blocks out of uh, the social the social media, the damn 
the rap music, all the stuff that the, the fake Jews over there that y'all call the fake Jews according to the Bible. All these folks own every all the media, and they supposed to be God's people, but they doing all this evil stuff. I don't oh, that. praise! You're right. So give me that. So let's see what you said. Let's see was that in the Bible, Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. Bring it out. Verse 47. Because thou servest not, because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart, for the abundance of all things. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, and hunger. And in thirst and in nakedness. Well, hold that real quick. So it said because we didn't want to keep God's commandments, my brother and my sister. We didn't want to keep God's commandments. He said we're gonna serve our enemies in one of all things. What did that mean? When you have to go buy or sell or something, because I mean, there's a law that we're not supposed to buy or sell on the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day is the seventh day of the week. Y'all understand that? So what 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 day is the seventh day of the week? Saturday. Saturday. Oh, so today. Today is the Sabbath day. So I see y'all have y'all bought some things, right? So that means we we're not supposed to buy and sell on the Sabbath. Let's get that Nehemiah. We're not supposed to buy or sell on the Sabbath day. So that means what? That, that's one of the, the commandments that we broke, and that's the reason why we're in the condition that we're in today. You understand right. that thing? So let's get that law because you might not have known, but you're gonna get it today. That's why the, the Most High brought these prophets out here to give y'all these commandments today. That's to right. get this out, of, get us out of the condition that we in. Read that thing, officer. Nehemiah chapter ten, verse thirty-one. Yeah. And if the people of the land bring well or any victuals, so the people or these other nations, these enemies that we have to serve in one of all things, if they come and bring anywhere or victuals, any food, clothes, shelter, whatever they are uh, selling, read. On the Sabbath day, on the Sabbath day, which is today, you understand? Read. To sell uh -huh. that we would not buy it of them. That we, the Israelites, us, our people, would not buy it on them. Right. Read. On the Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day. You understand that, sis? You understand that, my brother? We so we y'all know we're not supposed to be buying and selling on the Sabbath day. So now, now that you know, now that you mark. You understand? Because what we do, if we buy and sell, you just committed what is called sin. Right. And sin is the transgression of God's commandments. And that's why we're in this condition that we're in. And that's why we eventually, that leads us to our death. You understand that thing? So let's give something else. So you understand no buying and selling on a Sabbath day, right? You got that, my brother? All praises. 1 Corinthians 3.16. Bring it up. Because also on that Sabbath day, um, when we, uh, what we buying, we can buy food or we buy cigarettes. And that is what is called defiling our temple. So we're not supposed to defile our temple, thus said the Lord. And that's right. what we're about to read. Because this is, yeah, no, no weed at all. Defi that's still defiling our temple. Question. According to the Bible, though, the Bible says he made every every uh, herb and um, seed bear a tree good for food. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. So Psalms 104 and 14. Go ahead. I'll just, you know, hey, and that, you know. brother, you, because I remember your question earlier. You remember, you understand about the Savior's thing, right? Yeah, according to the Bible, yeah. Okay, because during that time, the reason why I said there's no savior uh, before me is because during that time, Israel was trying to run to the other nations for salvation. And the Lord was telling them, can't nobody save you but me. All right? All right, all free. So you, cause you said, mentioned about the earth, why we have the earth and stuff, right? came over here and made laws on different stuff. Uh -huh. I just feel like, you know what I'm saying, it was it was natural herbs that we used to use for medication and all kind of stuff. All the doctors, like, for take this, the doctor dope that we get out of the hospital right now today, yes, sir. that shit ain't no good for us. And then some of the Christians and religious people take that stuff because it got all kind of toxic stuff that's not good for our body. We, you know what I mean, it's, it's known to do a number of things. Now I know they got, you know, this high grade stuff they put out there, but regular weed with seeds, I feel like inside the Bible it says that it's all right. You know? so, so I got a question. Do you get high? Yeah, yeah. You do? Uh -huh. So what did the Bible say about that? Because we're supposed to be sober-minded. Well, he said, uh, like, like Jesus. Like Jesus first, Peter, uh, first Peter 5. First Peter 5 and over. Oh, I like that too. Uh, I'm gonna get first Peter 5 and 8, then we're going to go to First Peter 1 and 13. Bring it up. Right. Read that thing. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Uh -huh. Be sober. Be what? Be sober. Uh -huh. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a warring lion walketh about, seeking whom 
He made the violence. Right. So the Bible says we're supposed to be sober right. and sober-minded. So when you smoking that cigarettes, brother, we all can attest that you're not sober-minded. Well, Want to know why? Well, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can't. I can't. I am. I'm, I'm telling you, like, if, if you do too much, yeah. If you do too much of anything, you know, you're gonna be out. If you do just a little bit of, of anything, you know, you might be all right. And stay with uh, with the weed. If I smoke me a little bit of weed, man, I get my day started. I'm all to the good. I'm, I'm gonna I'm tell you something. Cause I used to smoke. I don't smoke anymore because I repented from that. And that's what we teaching our brothers and our sisters. Even if I had a little, what you call it, a doobie, I still got high. I was still high. I wasn't sober-minded. Right. Because the whole reason why for me to smoke is to get out of my sober mind because of these atrocities that's going on with me. Right. So, I, hey, I get you a little doobie or whatever, but I would still be not non so I mean, uh, I wouldn't be sober. You understand that? So it don't even matter from the little to the greatest, you still not sober minded. Cause that's the reason why you're doing it anyway, to, for you not to be sober. You right. understand that? So that just so read that again. First Peter chapter five, verse eight. Uh -huh. Be sober, uh -huh. be vigilant, mm -hmm. because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So that's the reason why he tell us to be sober. Because you have the devil coming out here. Uh, trying to devour you, my brother. How? By saying, "Oh yeah, it's okay for you to be uh to smoke weed. It's okay for my sister right there to smoke cigarettes." But you got to be sober minded and sober in the scriptures. Well, I do agree about, about not the smoke thing. But as far as food, if I want to eat some edibles or something like that, the Bible says it's good for food. Said sober. Be sober. Right. It's the same thing. Cause you said it's the Bible said be sober, brother. Right. But, see, look at, but look at Jesus. His eyes was red with wine, so I mean he got a little bit of tipsy, but he went all the way there. You know what I mean? Understood. But I got a question. The Bible, well, not a question, a statement. The Bible uh, doesn't speak about you. We can drink wine and strong drink. We just can't get drunk. But the Bible don't speak about you smoking weed or smoking cigarettes. So we got to go with thus said the Lord. That's right. We can, absolutely. So we have to repent from that thing. You understand that, bro? So now that you know that, you got to put that weed away. You understand? Hey, I know it's hard, but that's what you got to do. And you got to be sober in these scriptures. And the reason why we do these things, the why we smoke or the why we get drunk or get high, is because we don't know who the hell we are, bro. We don't know what's required of us. We don't know that we got this great power. We don't know that the Bible said that you more precious than fine gold. So what you're going to do, you're going to start um, destroying yourself with the herbs that the Most High didn't use for that purpose. He used it for medicinal purposes, but we don't use it for that. It we up. use it to um, overcome our, our stress, overcome these um, atrocities that we got to go through, going to work, working 12 hours, 14 hours, 16 hours a day. Baby mama, baby father, uh, baby, baby mama to put us on child support. That's why we do these things. But why? Because we don't keep God's law. That's right.